starting off from the head and just thread them up the hook. It's quite busy today, so we might not. There's a lad jumping in. Yep. When shall it stop? I'll do, I'll do the same. And um, second hook. We're doing a two rig game. Yep, two hooks, so hopefully two fish. Yeah. Hopefully. Only I'm good at that though. If you've watched the previous video, watch it now. Yep, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put it at the end of this video. Yeah. Right, guys, so we have a fish on. Reeled it up, haven't gone in it out yet. We have a nice ras there, caught on some ragworm again. A beautiful young ras there. You can see by its colour, it's quite a small one, it's not very big. Perfectly hooked. Let me just unhook that. There we go. Look at that ras there. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one, isn't it, James? Yeah, it's epic. Look at those lips. Oops. Those really, really blue lips and teeth. There. I hope you guys can see that with. There we have the beautiful ras. Gonna release it on the steps. Really nice colours on this one's head. So. Off it goes. So guys, second fish. I mean third fish actually. Look at that. A nice ras, a bit bigger than the last one. Still still using some ragworm, just ragworm. Right, I'm gonna have to unhook this one. Uh, there we go. There we go. Just quickly had to drop the phone. Look at that one there. Nice pinky brown colours, beautiful blue lips, and still got that sort of greenish head. It might be the same one from before. It looks really, really similar, similar colours, but looks a bit bigger. It might be the same one. Off it goes. So there we go, guys. A little, little, little cork wing ras, I think. So what you got? Perfectly hooked. It was giving me a lot of nibbles. Look at that. Tiny. Yeah, it is. Um, gonna just drop it back on. Off it goes. James is gonna do the commentary for me because it's his fish. You go on. Right. Oh, wait, so wait, wait, wait. Actually, we need to do this quickly. We need to unhook it first. I right, you, you, you hold it because this is um, gonna take off the seat. It's in its fin. Oh, this one, I, I'm not sure if it's gonna like, survive. It's right, so James, talk about your fish here. Right, so this is a brown ras here. It's a ballon and ras. A ballon ras, and it has no blue lips. It has, you can see the oh. scales. And yeah, look in there, back quickly, the please. beautiful eyes on it. I'm trying to use words, scale emojis. It's oh, cool fish. Right, right, right oh, he's got something now too. There, oh my god. Don't matter. Um, I'll edit look it. There. So there we go, we've got a little Let's common see. Can I hold him? Yep. So there we go guys, James caught a Blenny, now he's going to do the commentary. Come on, talk about how you caught it, what you caught it with, and what does it look like. So I caught it with a two hook rig with king lugworms, is it? Ragworms. Ragworms. Um, this is a Blenny, it's a very... Called a common Blenny. A common Blenny. It's brown, you can see it's little um, flappers there. And it's just, yes. it's literally just got it. And it's, you can see it's still eating it. And these fish bite, and you can see the bones in their mouth when you unhook them. Yeah. These are really, this is a really beautiful individual, you can see these speckled colours and um, wow, caught on a pretty big hook considering it's a blenny so I'm just gonna try to bounce, bounce it out, they're really greedy animals these ones. Right, actually, you know what, wait, you, you film because I need to unhook this guy, don't worry about my food. Oh my god, it's hooked, um, oh, this is gonna be, there we go. I must have hurt that little dude. Nah, 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 don't Can worry. I throw him back These guys in? are hardy. Did you turn it off? Nope. So guys, now I've moved to a shallower spot just there, on the same harbour, just sight fishing for these guys. So, let me get him unhooked. He's got those beautiful blue lips. Ah. Oh. Right, I'm going to have to set down the camera for this. There we go. There we have him unhooked. He has beautiful blue lips, like, inside his mouth. 
don't know if you guys can see that. I, I'm gonna chuck him back. Off he goes. So look at this, guys. An amazing little corking wrasse. Nice, nice blue patterns there. There's a really blue spot here. I don't know what that means. I'll search it up. Maybe it means, maybe it indicates if it's male or female, but look at that beautiful one. Just chuck it back. Oh, and off it goes. So after about 15 minutes of trying to hook this specimen, here we have him. He's been chasing and nibbling my bait all day. I mean, not all day, but for pretty long. What do you think, James? That's insane, look. So, I want to... More scar. Exactly, yeah, we have a scar here. Definitely got bit, but I want to talk about these here. These are fish lice. I think they're called fish lice. These tiny, tiny little things here. And they stick onto fish. And they're basically parasites, but they, I don't think they harm the fish, so... I cannot see my float. There we go. You filming? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Hi. Okay, got our fish there. There we have it. There we have it. Oh, that's a small... Oh my god, that is tiny. That is as small as a baling rasp yet. That one's a tiny little one. Beautiful blue lips on that one. I hope you guys can see that properly. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry about it flipping. Hey. Right, stir that. Oh, oh, it spiked me. Right, look at that then. Feisty one. I mean, considering it's that small, it's feisty. Really nice colours. They're exactly the same colour as the seaweed in this specific part of the bay. So, off it goes. So guys, me and James are watching here. Getting bites. Getting bites. Haven't hooked the fish. So guys, look at James' little cork wing wrasse. That's a beautiful cork wing. Look at those splendid colours on his cheeks. And look at that fin there. Almost an unnatural green there. Absolutely beautiful. James, I'll, I'll, I'll let you chuck it back. I mean, obviously it's your fish. Right. Off it goes. Can I just, like, it back in, yep. Right, now actually, rebait, rebait. Do I need to? Yeah, because your hook's um, all messy. Here we have a beautiful cork wing that I caught. Really deeply hooked, so I just cut the hook. Look at it go. And off it goes. Wow. I think that's the end of the day for me. So, guys, Jim's caught an absolutely beautiful cork ring. never seen one like that it's got some really unique colors as they say rat with ras there's never two the same look at him come on come on come on big man i dropped him so he might be like a bit you know oh he's gonna recover oh jesus he went fast here we got have it guys james called a nice blenny isn't that right james Look at that, completely black. So the thing about blennies, I probably talked about this a hundred times. They can live a lot of time out of water. Look at those red eyes. Completely black. They can't bite, they've got big mouths, big heads. They're not edible, if you're wondering. Look at that there. You can see they've got like a very bonky head, unlike goobies. Some of you guys get mixed up with goobies and blennies, but they're they're very different. Oh, another one? Oh, I don't another know. one. Oh, I went away, I went away. And one of the differences is that blennies only have one dorsal fin, one that goes all the way along. So I'm good. Oh yes. So I'm gonna go release it inside the harbor now. Right, yep. Right. So. Oh. Oh, that was fast. James called another blenny. He's having lots of luck. I put my rod in the harbour. No fish. So, look, this is how you release them. Just put them in and they'll dart straight off. 